As five female students of the Federal University Dutsima in Kasina State have been abducted by suspend, suspected bandits, the students were kidnapped in their residence off campus located along Saskia Road in the state. Now, Trust TV's Abdullah Yamadi is joining us uh, via phone to give us an update on the situation with the abduction <coughs> of the students. Abdullah Yamadi, good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us on the news update. What do we know so far? about the circumstances of the abduction of the five students. Well, thank you for being there for us. And uh, the five female students kidnapped are uh, said to be from Kanu and Nasara State. And two of them are in their final year. And uh, of course, one of the students of the university told uh, Cross TV that uh, it is not certain whether the other two students are not in their final year. However, the, at the time of confirming this report, there was no information concerning the situation of the abductees as uh, their captors did not make any call uh, or make any demand as a ransom or so uh, The students confirmed that following the kidnap incidents at the Federal University of uh, Gosau in Zamfara State, uh, the Fulmo authorities uh, instructed them uh, to ensure that they remain indoors from 10 p.m. daily. And that was why uh, the students were met in their dormitories and uh, were abducted there. Uh, the head of the public relations unit of the university, Adibu Omar Amin, uh, confirmed that the incident happened around 2 a.m. on Wednesday and the efforts are ongoing to rescue the uh, victims and hurt. Uh, on the side of the police, uh, the spokesman in Katsina, ASP Sadiq Ali Abubakar, said that one person suspected to be an informant to the terrorist uh, was arrested. Uh, similarly, he added that uh, some other people were also arrested alongside the, alongside the informants uh, for involvement in the abduction uh, of the female students. Uh, finally, Ali also maintained that uh, there was a coordinated efforts to rescue the uh, victims and hurt because uh, they have to uh, be very careful in trailing the bandits so that they will not uh, ambush them and uh, uh, attack them. So there are efforts to rescue the victims according to police reports. Right. Just to confirm, uh, Abdullah Yamadi, uh, it was this attack on a university campus or an off-campus residence of the students? No, off-campus residence of the students uh, behind uh, Mariamo Ajiri, uh, very close to uh, Saskia Road, uh, and along the weekly market, Dusama weekly market uh, site, or right. road. Right, and, and, and what, what more are we learning about how this attack happened? You just said it happened around 2 a.m. Uh, were, were there yeah. uh, injured persons? Was the attack uh, coordinated by these uh, individuals just to kidnap the five female students? Well, according to reports, we get that uh, the mission was just for uh, just to kidnap the female students, not uh, to hurt anybody, because there was no shooting, uh, no uh, injury, no killing, nothing. They were there just to kidnap the female students, and they successfully kidnapped them and went away with them uh, without any. Uh, uh, restriction or right. without any without any uh, pushback, without any resistance, right? Yeah. Uh, and and yeah, what can you tell us about the situation uh, around the Federal University, dudes? Uh, you know, especially from students who must have been shaken up by uh, this development. Well, uh, honestly, there is uh, this fear of uh, further attacks. There is this fear of uh, another abduction because uh, as it happened in uh, Gusau Zangfara State uh, and it happened now in Katsina at Duzuma Federal University, uh, the students are in fear uh, that uh, maybe the bandits uh, will strike any time uh any moment so they're in uh, desperation in case honestly hmm. right and of course yeah. uh we'll, we'll, we'll keep tabs on some of these development abdullah Madi, thank you for the updates and we hope to hear soon more of you know regarding uh efforts to get those students back from captivity thank you very much for the update okay okay thank you Dan.